close your eyes and breathe deep. At this moment, there's nothing else you have to be concerned about, just being still in the present moment. Even if the breath isn't comfortable, your main aim here is to be still. The more comfortable you can make the breath, the better, because then it's easier to stay. And the easier it is to stay, then the more likely you are to hear, see things clearly. Because that's what we're here for, is to see things going on in the mind. So why is it that the mind creates suffering for itself? I mean, the stuff of the world is bad enough. You've got a body that grows old, gets sick, and someday is going to die. The people you love are going to be parted from you. The people you don't like sometimes, for some reason, seem to hang around. All kinds of problems in the world, and yet the mind manages to add more problems on top of them. So you want to look into them, what the mind is doing, look at its thoughts, not so much in terms of their content, but see them as processes. Okay, this is a process of a, of a thought arising, this is a process of a thought passing away. And they don't just arise and pass away, they come from causes and they have effects. You want to see that clearly. So you can direct your thoughts, direct these processes in a better direction. So to see them clearly, though, you have to get as still as possible, to remove as many distractions as possible. It's like listening for something going wrong in the engine of your car. You want everything else to be as quiet as possible so you can listen to the sound that the engine is making and then figure, okay, this is what's going wrong. So get the breath comfortable, get the mind still, and then see what st still is left in there. As a John Swat used to say, take this as your way of gaining discernment. Try to get everything as still as possible, and whatever is not still, okay, that's the suffering, that's the cause of suffering right in there that you want to understand. You want to tease those out so you can figure out which is the cause and which is the effect. So you don't have to keep on creating the causes over and over again. So all the really interesting things, all the really important things lie right here. Our concerns about the world outside are nothing compared in importance compared to what you're doing right here, right now. That's adding a lot of unnecessary stress and suffering on top of things, because it turns out the stress and suffering that actually weigh the mind down are not caused by things outside. It's the mind's own way of acting. So you want to see that clearly. And when you see that clearly, you can solve the problem. And then when the problem is solved, you can be free wherever you go.